Hi everybody, my name is Mary from Emos Properties, I'm a relationship manager. My duty is to relate with you, serve you, take you through the general knowledge that you'd like to know and more. So the other day I went to site with a client and asked me, what do you keep on telling us that you have vacancy on site? What are they? What are they meant to be for? What's the purpose of having that vacant? Or what is the importance of having it on site? Okay, it's uh, one thing that identified with some survey work that has gone on on that site. So, one thing I would like to educate you about something. We have, if you find a vacant on site, you are very sure there was a survey was involved. That is a part of the survey work. That is part of something done by a surveyor. And it's very genuine to have vacants on site and it's very good to have them and important to have them. So we have, uh, for survey work, we have two types of vacants. We have the fixed service. That one is done using a GPS. It can used to be, it's mostly using urban, uh, like Nairobi or cities, because you find you would be able to locate the vacants after the big structures and everything. But with GPS, you can trace and get where the vacant was put. Then the others, we have the general now demarcation of boundary, like now the beacon. That's when the beacon is the term used to show the mark where the demarcation has happened. Mostly in big lands, it's put on the corner of a plot. Like a big acre land, you can find four of them. Then from there, you can do the demarcation or the boundaries of the small plots that you would like to subdivide. So sometimes you can find the beacons are some, okay, I would like to describe one. We have a concrete, like a pan pancake shape, mostly with a PSV pipe in the middle. Those are used normally nowadays because of scrap metals. People are used to using metal. But because of the theft and these things happening about scrap metals, people turned up to use the pipe. So it's supposed to have a pipe in the middle, and then it's a concrete. Now, then the concrete should have numbers. If it's not the title number, there's a reference number from the plan that your surveyor gave you. So like, we, for example, you can find number 24, number 20, number 19, number one. But in case the plot has individual titles, you do it with the mother, with the uh, title number. That is, you can find 3142, that is the title number of the project. It's important to go to a land. If you go to site, make sure you can see a bacon. Because that shows you, at least you're sure, even if you come back after one or two years, you'll know where your plot was. It's important of having a reference number. It might not be the title number, but the reference number will show you. On the plan, I was plot number 24, and this is plot number 24 that I'm standing on. So. It's something to show you in future where your plot was. If not the reference number, it can't have the title number. For example, like uh, your number is Matu Machakos 31 something, you can find it written 3185, 3190, that is the title number that was given from the registry. It shows you where your plot is and what's the plot number. And then we have people who do the longer ones that are, it's like a pole, and then on the top is written numbers. We have those ones who do like a board. It can be shown plot number one, plot number two. So it's uh, it depends on what your surveyor would like to do for you. But all of them are, make, are meant to demarcate the boundaries of your plot and your neighbor's plot. The purpose of bacon sometimes is to avoid the disputes that comes, comes in future. That my plot was up to here, my plot was up to here. When we have that bacon there, it can show you. That is the correct one that was done by a surveyor, a qualified surveyor who did the work at the ground and gave you all the numbers and gave you all the correct numbers. Sometimes you avoid those disputes with your neighbors. Another thing, it's a security of where your property is, where your plot is. At least you can be able to go back and trace the property. The other thing, it gives you the security of fencing and everything. You don't, you know, at least I'm supposed to fence up to this place. So you don't have to fence, then someone comes back and tell you, Pana, make a fence, Hadi Kwangu. 
it's an easier way of showing you I'm supposed to go up to this part for me to show the boundaries of my cracks. So I would advise you, if you go to site, please check the bacons. Mostly that shows you there's a surveyor who was involved in that baconing. If someone tells you that we are going to do them later, it's good. Let them do the bacons first before you get to invest in that property. So it's a general knowledge that you need. I think some people don't understand. bacon, we don't know what they are. Then for us, we do we try our best to do the permanent ones that the pipe is deeper, the cement is more, and then it's a bit higher. Sometimes we use the small pipe, sometimes we use the big pipe, but the big pipe are better because where your property is at to. So mine was short about the beacon and please let's go to site at least you'll have an idea what is it and you'll invest in that and i know we're going to give you more knowledge on different things so always keep tuned subscribe and share everything thank you